All right. Hello. Another week. More of this. Uh, right before we start. Excuse me. The uh, I'm using the more diverse world thing that I used for a couple of weeks before I stopped recording for a while. I'm going to do that at least for this week and see how I feel. Adjust the mic. Here we go. Challenge start. Happy Monday. Hope uh, it's everything you wanted it to be. Uh, unless if you live in the U.S., we've got a holly day today. Um, this feels like turkey. I think it's turkey. I'm going to go with that first. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm going to try not to clear my throat too much and actually talk because the past couple of times I actually have been asking, if, hey, if you got any suggestions for anything you want me to talk about, I will talk about them. And uh, I got one in asking about the elections that just ended, what was it, last week or the week before? You think I would pay attention to this a bit more? Uh, yeah, it's all, this is completely turkey because uh, not TR. Okay. Um, I'll just say Ankara, but it could be any of these, like Anatolia, could be that. But, uh, anyway. Uh, yeah, they just happen to want to know my thoughts. And, uh, this is going to be long-winded, and just hope you stick with it. And also just keep in mind, opinions. You know, it's just a random guy you hear talk on the internet, babbling about things. I wouldn't get upset. I wouldn't get upset if you expressed your opinions either. That's just what they are. Um, <clears throat> I remember someone was asking Michael Jordan back when he was uh, in, like, playing basketball, and someone asked him, "Is like, why don't you ever really uh, get politically at involved, you know, raise your voice, do any of that stuff? And he uh, famously said that Republicans buy shoes too. And one of the things that people will tell you about is this is probably not Istanbul? It's just ubiquitous term, maybe in the country. Um, is uh, it's 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 almost like gonna kill your channel. Is talking between religion and politics. That's it's always gonna guarantee arguments, anger, yelling, <clears throat> opinions, and, and strong ones at that. I guess maybe this is Istanbul. Cause it's probably either one of these two C's here, but uh. Again, I just want to say that, hey, everyone's got their own opinions, and they're just that. I mean, you can disagree with them, and it's expected, and hope that you don't agree with everybody you listen to and everybody you talk to, because uh, if you ever end up being in a situation where your views are questioned or challenged, you just won't get all flustered and angry and just wait for your turn to talk and say your points and never actually engage anybody in conversation. And uh, that's what I kind of feel like. At least the mood is in uh, at least U.S. politics very vindictive. It's you know, hey, it, you're you're treating your political party as a team, and you know, you're voting for anybody who's in that party. Maybe you're thinking about who's actually uh, the person, but it's more just like, is he Democrat? Is he Republican? Well, then if he's one of those, I'm sure he's not going to vote for them because he hates. Everything I stand for in America, and I want them to lose. You know, I mean, it's fine if that's the way you want to vote things. Just understand that I don't think that's a very smart way of going about things. I would rather choose the person over the party just because I'd, that's not what's in, in power as a party. I feel that, man, these are a lot of dead ends here. Um, I'll use an example here. Um, I kind of feel if I had to like label myself, I call myself a bit of a centrist. I, I'm not really reactionary. I have pretty much nailed. No, I was pretty close. This is what Decker dog. It's, I'm, I'm happy with this. I'll give myself four stars. Uh, okay. This is probably Japan. I don't know where. Is that a camera? Cool. This is probably Japan. I just don't know where. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll just pick a big city and go from there, I guess. Um, I mean, 
default is always that. And we'll see if this actually pans out. There's a lot of big cities in this country, so this very well could be, you know, 10 or 20 other cities. I mean, I don't really know. But anyway, all right, well, I'll try to organize this a bit more about thoughts. Um, a lot of people will talk about, you know, they don't feel that this is a very, un this is an unprecedented time, at least in politics, the way it's, you know, anger, emotional, a lot of yelling, belligerence. Um, and I might get this wrong just because uh, I listened to this a while ago, but there was a podcast I listened to. I know it, the, it was at least called the, the 10 American Presidents Podcast. And uh, I went looking because it had it, been like a year or two since I've actually listened to this podcast. Well, actually, this came out in apparently 2017, so it's only been a year. Um, I believe the uh, uh, election, I think it was, I don't know if it's the election of 1800. It was one of them. And I wish I was able to actually see this, uh, the synopsis better, and actually like would jog something in my memory. But it, it actually just brought up a pretty good example of another time in history when politics was this charged, this angering, you know, a lot of yelling. Um, I mean, there was actually a fight in Congress at one point. So it's not like it's as ang it's, it's, it's a different type of bad. I mean, if you still need to kind of be like, well, it's different. Yes. Everything's going to be different, but honestly, you know, it's a bit cyclical and that's kind of the case with most things. Like, um, people, uh, I'll bring up another example of a podcast I was listening to, uh, Radio Lab. I think the one from last week, like, and you don't have to listen to the whole thing, but if you don't want to, but it was just in the beginning, they were doing this poll and, uh, they were comparing like different age ranges of people and what they thought of like government and, uh, like everybody around like World War II, the older generation that would ask questions about like, uh, what are your thoughts on democracy? Would things run better if uh, it was just one person who didn't have to, like, uh, respond or be held accountable with, like, parliament or anything else? If it was just, like, a dictator rule, something like that. And uh, people that were around in World War II or the older generation, you know, they were very much like, yes, pro-democracy, pro-checks and balances, stuff like that. And the younger generations uh, were more... Uh, the opposite, you know, they had less faith in democracy, less faith in parliamentary government and presidents and prime ministers, all of that stuff. And a lot of that can be just attributed to, um, maybe just not having experience or understanding of past events, history. It's a history repeating thing. Everyone always talks about you can't really expect the, uh, a 18 year old now to, who was born in the year 2000 to be like, I don't know, maybe. Maybe the dictator might have been a good idea. You know, they don't have, they just have like stories people tell them. They're like, well, that was just one time. Who knows it's going to be any different this time? You know, it's just their, I mean, inability may be wrong. It's just them being more willing to think of other things and not taking other historical evidence and thoughts into, into their own context when they think of things like, a dictator may be a good idea. And, you know, they can argue negata. Okay, whatever, I'm in the country, right? That's all that matters. <clears throat> a lot of people argue the idea that the, uh, are there moose in Scandinavia? Maybe they are, I don't know. Clearly when I thought I was in, well, there's a flag, that's Belgium. Why is there a Belgian flag? Hmm. I mean, that's a moose. Doesn't technically mean that this is moose country. That's Sweden. That is a candy bar flag company of some sorts. So let's see if there's another. Yeah, there's a lot. I don't know which one that is. And that's Netherlands. Where is this? Is this Greenland? I'm seeing a lot of flags. No, this is this is craft craftwork. Nice. Uh, I got a dam here. Is this a fjord? I don't know. I got distracted. Cal I feel like I've been here before. I know I haven't. Um, 
suddenly snow. Okay. So is this the Falklands? Juven camping. I really... I mean, we've got double Sweden. I mean, just by majority choice here. But isn't that like the Falk... That kind of almost looks like the Falkland Islands flag, whatever. I'm going to click the wrong country and be thoroughly surprised if it actually turns out to be that. I'm willing to say it's not. See, there's Norway. Tell me... Stugor rum. Ombud. You got Coke and a hot dog. None of these things really, like, show me any tips. I guess they do. I don't know why I don't think they would have moose in Scandinavia. It's not a thing I think about, I guess. But anyway, um, where did I leave off? Um, just historical context and understanding things in the past and just w maybe not being as um, accepting of past events or being more forgettable. Even like, well, maybe war would be a good thing to have because we haven't had one in a while. You know, they're, they're, they can get more aggressive when you don't actually have a tie to an incident that happened to you when you were younger, like younger generation who went through World War II. Um, knows what that's like, and they're like, no, war's a fucking terrible thing. I don't want to do with that. Or as someone, even born when I was, you know, there was a little bit of war here and there, but I was never really involved, so I'm just like, oh, maybe war's a good thing. It's just, just taking what they have into context, using their own experiences, and being able to, like, form their worldview on that, not understanding that other people have different experiences and they're not always going to agree with you. It doesn't mean that they're wrong or you're wrong either. It's just what you know. And you got to be able to willing, you got to be willing to actually accept that. Not to go into every argument or discussion thinking that you are better than them. You know, people come to these thoughts and uh, conclusions for a variety of reasons. And you may think it's dumb, but, you know, you dismiss them and call them an idiot. They're just going to not respect you at all. They're not going to want to talk to you, not be anything like that. You know, if you want to try to get through to somebody who doesn't seem to have a educated view that you would think that I get the country. I did. Nice. Cool. You're going to do better to actually, you know, reach out and have a conversation with them if you're receptive and being like, okay, I understand why you say that, but, you know. Go into it talking. Don't talk down to them being like, you're just an idiot. You don't understand. See, here's what I know. Things like that. You're just, it, it never works. They just end up shouting at you, and they're like, well, this guy's just an idiot. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I know. All my friends I talk to all agree with me, and I'm just stuck in my little, uh, uh, what's it, vacuum chamber of congratulatory posts of, you know, you said what you had to, way to go, you know, dumb stuff. And I'm kind of just at that point. I mean, that's just the way, again, it's, it's, you can think of it as cyclical pendulum, you know, it's, it's swung on one way, it's going to be reactionary and go back to the other way. It's the same thing with um, parties that are in power for multiple, I think like every eight years, say the Republicans are in power for eight years, it's just natural for humans to be like, oh, let's try something else. And, you know, I still have zero idea where this is right now. I've not seen anything to help me figure this out. It's just human nature to be like always wanting, thinking something's better. I feel like I'm spending too much time trying to look at this goddamn sign. What is this a thing of? Is this like a tiny island? I don't know what this is, and I'm a bit concerned. I'm going to hit home and... Okay, we're in this... Where did I... Okay, I'm going to go this way now. But I feel like this truck might have something, and I'm not seeing anything on here. Uh, again, sorry if this is just lawn-winded and meandering. The only thing I'm trying to point across here as far as the politics go is... Um, I'm kind of tired of the rhetoric now, but I understand that you know it's not going to be around forever. It comes and goes. 
it's waves, cyclical, pendulous, whatever. I mean, I keep saying those words over and over again, just... No, this is a messy, messy part of town. Just know if you're going to go into discussions, political or anything else based. You don't have to have an open eye. Just have an understanding mind being like, what? maybe even ask, why do you think like that? And then he'll explain things. And if you want, you can keep pressing. I was like, I don't know if I believe that. Can you, you know, show some examples? And they're like, well, just look all around you. He's like, I don't know if I believe that. You know, you can have discussions with them and maybe they'll get a little upset with you, but you just know that, hey, I at least tried. Why don't I know where this is? This is Italy. Whenever I think it's Italy, it ends up being Portugal, though. Although that's a Luke oil. Hmm. I this is a this is one's very difficult. Is that a flag? No, that's just a guy and a sign. Give me something, folks. Um, is this a highway up here? I got thirty seconds. I have to make a decision here. Um. Hmm. Um. Reservat. Does that sound Italian to me? I don't. I'm going to click it anyway because I got no idea where this is. Oh, oh, maybe enough time to see this truck. Oh, it's too far away. Oh, dot RU probably. Oh, it was Romania. Okay. I got the continent right. That's something, isn't it? Uh, any other final things I want to babble on about? Um, political stuff. I mean, it doesn't really matter what my view is. I'm just, in, I have my own opinion. There are certain things that I disagree with, and there's things that I agree with, but honestly, it's just the only thing that I care, seem to really care about more than anything else, which seems to be really difficult in this time, is just at least honesty. Um, it's just, you know, belligerent lies just to be like, no, shut up, you're wrong. I disagree, or just objectifying the 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 others, those who don't agree with you. Uh, it 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 never really solves or fixes anything. I mean, it can just make you feel better for a very short amount of time, but it does not fix any. Ralph, okay, this this I feel I've got the country. I believe we're in Alemania. I'm gonna stick with that. Hmm. Any other thoughts? Um. I mean, it wasn't surprising the way the uh, the the way it split up. You know, Democrats getting more over the Republicans in one house and the Senate, the Republicans kept it. Um, I do listen to. I'm going to keep listening up uh, podcast just because. Uh, Five thirty eight. They're more of a numerically based, um, like polling, but they do like all numbers based. It, that I I think at least with website stuff, it's it's not opinionated in any way. It's more like okay, the numbers and the things. Ooh, we got a sign here. The numbers add up to this. So according to this, we're gonna. This is our projection, Luzerne. I've seen that word before. Uh, but the podcast itself is a little bit more opinionated in that sense, and that's fine. But everyone always says just find out the information for yourself and that's kind of led to everyone just not believing anybody but everyone can do whatever they want um Stuttgart oh, I'm just going to click here Luzerne I swear I've seen Luzerne before now, now I'm just not remembering it A radio station no. I mean, this is Germany. I'm... Well, we've changed. Dot CH. Ver Efron. Lucerne. Is that Lucerne? Why do I not remember things? Luzerne. Okay, that's different. 
But is that just Lindsberg? 26. The 2B. I think I might have psyched myself out of uh, the 26. I need to move up just a smidge. Woolen. I got 30 seconds. Um, but hopefully what I was babbling on about may have been coherent in some way. Um, if not, you want me to reiterate or talk about anything else again, I can try. Um, why can't... It, I'm going... Uh, Luzerne, Lucerne. I'm going to say it's the same thing. I'm going to dot, I think. I th dot, yet yeah, CH. So I believe, yeah. Okay. I was, I, I, okay. Whew. I'm feeling much better. Super strong this time. Look at that. I mean, I had one a bit off, but this is a stronger showing that I hold myself up to a higher regard with. But anyway, um, once again, thank you all for watching. If you have any other suggestions or comments or replies or anything else that I could talk about, uh, throw them my way. I'll try to do my best to just be like, okay, here's what I think. I'll do a little bit of looking up if I have anything that can help talk about what I'm talking about. I'll throw those your way. Uh, again, you know, thanks all for watching. We'll see you at least again on uh, Wednesday. Uh, I'm still thinking if I want to do any other, uh, like, game stuff. I've been playing some other stuff, thinking about it. Uh, we'll see. But for now, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.